Hello everybody, welcome to Ms. with PJ. Today's date, April 24, 2016. It's Sunday, our discussion is going to be forsaken. In Judges 10.10, 10, finally the Israelites turned to Jehovah again and begged him to save them. We have sinned against you and have forsaken you as our God and have worshipped idols. We confess. In Isaiah 62, 4, Never again shall you be called the God-forsaken land or the land that God forgot. Your new name will be the land of God's delight. And the bride for the Lord delights in you and will claim you as his own. Jeremiah 2.13 For my people have done two evil things. They have forsaken me, the fountain of life-giving water, and they have built for themselves broken cisterns that can't hold water. Matthew 27.46 About three o'clock, Jesus shouted, Eli, Eli, lama, Sakabachanai, which means, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The Israelites we know here ask God to save them, even though they have forsaken him by worshiping the idols, but they did confess. Isaiah told the Israelites after they repented that they would never be forsaken again, for they are now the bride of Christ. When Jesus was on that cross, God for a moment turned his back on him. At that point, Jesus took on our sins and became the penalty for all sin. When we sin and don't repent, we have forsaken God. Jesus was forsaken so that we could now have salvation and fellowship with God the Father in heaven again. I want you to think about this and have a blessed day.